So what is the voltage developing means how the circuit is? I mean, I know the current. I know the uh, uh, this resistance. Now, if I want to calculate the current, we uh, calculate the voltage. So it could be I into R. This is the one case. Or else, it is having different different formulas. Depends upon the circuit how it is connected. Got my point? So for this, different cases was evolved. What are those cases? Let's go to the again to our presentation. And again, we'll come back to you. So you can see here, these are the different cases. Now, a person may touch two equipments like this. So a voltage is developing here. Now I have to calculate the voltage developed here with some equation. In that equation, obviously, you will get the current volt. You, you are having uh, unknown values of current and uh, resistance that you already know. Or else, the person is working uh, in the field. Uh, what is the voltage developed by this person between two legs when the two legs are uh, spaced one meter apart? This voltage we will call as a step voltage. The step voltage is the a voltage. The difference in the surface potential experienced by the person bridging a distance of one meter with the feet without contacting any object. So this is also a voltage developed by this. So like this, this is a voltage developing between two legs or else the person touching any equipment, any equipment. So this is a touch voltage. The potential difference between the GPR, which is a ground potential rise developed when a fault occurred, and the surface potential where at, uh, at the point where a person is standing and touching uh, and, and in contact with some any grounded object. So the voltage is developing here. So this is a touch voltage. And he is leaning towards this. So it seems to be a maximum touch voltage. So the maximum touch voltage is called as a max voltage. Why the maximum touch voltage? Because he totally up, uh, contacted his body towards this. So the, now the resistance offered by it is very, very low. Here the resistance is feet to here. Here only this resistance. So this is the mesh voltage. Maximum touch voltage is called as a mesh voltage. And one more voltage is generally is there. That is a transferred voltage, a special case of touch voltage where a voltage is transferred into or out of the substation from or to a remote point external to the substation. This is the other case. In the entire guide, we are mostly concentrating on these three things, which is a step voltage, touch voltage, and a mesh voltage. These are the three cases where a person can see, can feel, uh, can experience this. Generally, what you will do in substation, either you walk, either you touch some, some equipment. So if you are touching any equipment, a voltage will uh, developing there across your, uh, uh, across your body to the ground. That could be a touch voltage. Or else a person generally is not touching anything and is walking. When he is walking, a potential may develop between the two legs of his uh, between that uh, in, uh, in uh, that uh, by bridging a feet of uh, at a distance of one meter without uh, touching any uh, object. So these are the main two voltages generally we can experience at a time of at a time of front, right. So now what we have to do logically, so we have to calculate what is the touch voltage. And what is the step voltage that can be tolerable by the 50 kg body, right? Now, what I have to do, I know the touch voltage is, will happen, a step voltage will happen. Now, what I have to do, I have to calculate what touch voltage, what step voltage a human body can tolerate. Because these are the two voltages develop in the substation. So I'm calculating the what touch voltage, how much touch voltage, how much uh, step voltage a 50 kg person or 70 kg person can tolerate. So then you are getting a question that Santosh, 
um, then the tolerable touch voltage, tolerable step voltage will be is or standard ones for the entire for every substation. No, no, no. Because I am not talking about the voltage appeared between the foot and the ground. I am not talking about the voltage that can be tolerable by a person between this. I am talking about the uh, voltage which is also having some medium, some other resistance. The, that resistance is because I am talking about with respect to the grid current, with respect to the grid current. So this grid current has to come up. Uh, so in this mid middle, there is some more resistance offering. That resistance could be your soil resistivity and also the crushed rock what you laid on the top of the substation. You are seeing some gravel in the substation. So the gravel in the substation and the soil resistivity, these two parameters also are factors which are uh, which uh, affecting the tolerable touch voltage and tolerable step voltage for a 50 kg or 70 kg body. So now we can it was concluded that. The touch, the tolerable touch voltage, the tolerable step voltage are not common for every substation. So these are we have to determine, we have to determine based on our site conditions. Based on our site conditions, in the sense, based on our soil resistivity, based on our crushed rock laid on the top of the soil and how much thickness you maintained, all these things will come to calculate the tolerable touch voltage and tolerable step voltage. Clear team? Till now? Cool. So now I calculated the tolerable touch voltage and tolerable step voltage. So for this, the formulas again was mentioned in IEEE 1. Let's see that. So for this, these circuits are developed. So this is the grid one. This is the grid resistance, right? So these are the circuits, resistance of the body, dependence equation, forming a dependence theorem. And uh, this is step voltage. And from this, it was concluded that uh, by using the effect of the layer of the surface material, everything, the touch and step potentials was uh, finalized with and this. So, I see so should be there. Typical operations, yes. Step one stretch voltage criteria. So, now I calculated the step potential and uh, touch potential. That's the best. Yes. So it was uh, written uh, maybe wrongly. It is a touch. It is a step. All it was mentioned as step. Uh, type error. It is a touch. It is a step. So you, you can see in the next uh, slides. I will show you that. So we concluded this. Now you can see the step and touch potentials which depends upon resistivity of the soil and CS. What is the CS factor? Thousand, you know, which is the resistance, body resistance. Six CS into rho S, this you know, which is the current. So you have to know only this resistance. What is this resistance? Which is soil resistance and CS. CS is a factor which is, uh, which is mainly influenced by your uh, a thickness, gravel, resistivity, all these things. This is the formula for CS. 
if we just want to see the derivation of the CS, it is there. So it's a kind of a CSC, surface layer derating factor. Fine? Fine. So by this, I calculated that for my project, this is the tolerable touch voltage and tolerable step voltage. Now I find found out the two things. So these are the my uh, so I have to design with these conditions. Suppose let's assume I got a tolerable step voltage of 400 volts, tolerable, and tolerable step touch voltage of suppose a 260 volts. These are the two voltages I desired from this. Now the next step, what you will do is you have to calculate the grid. You have to calculate the GPR. You have to calculate the GPR. So how you are calculating the GPR, which was discussed before? IG into RG. IG into RG. So how you are calculating the IG? IG equal to SF fault current division factor into the fault current, which is 25k per 33 kV, 40k per 20 kV. SF, I will discuss about this in a while. And RG, grid resistance. How to calculate the grid resistance? To do this calculation of the grid resistance, you have to form the grid, first of all. You have to form the grid. So how to form the grid? So generally, it's a kind of a trial and error case team. Suppose this is my substation. I am having a 200 uh, meters into 100 meters. This is the land for my substation. Okay. Now I will place the conductors. I will place the conductors like this. A trial and error case. I am placing the conductors. So these conductors, 